Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we're going to be discussing HNRC, CLNV, DUTV, ICNM, KATX, SNDL, TLRY, MCOA, MMNFF, MJNA and MSOS. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational and educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Also hit the red subscribe button, little notification bell to be notified when we go live with a new video. So go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where subscribers get first look at stocks we'll be covering. These are day and swing trade short term momentum penny stock alerts. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. It works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, it be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And since we release all of our profiles at the opening bell, text messages are the fastest way to get our alerts. You can also click the red download ebook to get the free insider financial guide to penny stocks. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging service are all free services from insiderfinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. With that out of the way, let's dive in here. Uh, Overall, blackluster day. Uh, the only sector getting hot is the cannabis sector, which I'll talk about here in a, in a minute. Uh, first up, uh, we're talking about HNRC. Uh, we have a new article on the site on insiderfinancial.com. How come HNRC still trades under a dollar? This is an incredibly undervalued play. Uh, I highly recommend you go and read the full report on insiderfinancial.com. This is an oil and gas play. Oil is back above $100. There's a lot to like in this sector. And HNRC is one of the top plays we've seen. It's very undervalued. They're doing a lot of things right, great management, they're paying dividends, uh, they uh, are extremely undervalued, and it's a short squeeze play. So there's all the full details are on insiderfinancial.com. I suggest you go and read that report on HNRC. Next up is four names, CLNV, DUTV, ICNM. And KATX, KATX is making new highs. I talked about, put out an article over the last weekend for active OTC stocks to watch, CLNV, DUTV, ICNM, and KATX. Uh, CLNV, DUTV, and ICNM are trading near the, the highs, consolidating, whereas KATX has broken out to the upside. Uh, this one is a uh, reverse merger play. Uh, Karen Courier, who we, uh, our subscribers, know well from ILUS, OWUV, uh, and AXTG. Uh, she's a reverse merger whiz, uh, getting the filing straight. Um, again, there's just a lot to like with her, and uh, we're pretty excited as to what uh, eventually gets merged into KATX. Um, next up is a new article on the site called The Beginner's Guide to Understanding the NFT Art Phenomenon. Uh, for those of you that are looking and, and trying to understand what is going on with NFTs, uh, my colleague Mike Long does a deep dive on uh, NFTs, understanding, looking at, the, at who's involved, the players, um, and then he talks about the OTCs uh, getting involved in the NFT space, NSAV, uh, 
MRNJ, OWUV, BOPO, CLIS, GOFF, uh, TAPM, AABB, NICH, MSTO, and more. So uh, if you are interested in the NFT space, there is a deep dive on insiderfinancial.com explaining what is going on in the sector. Lastly, guys, uh, we're going to talk about the cannabis space. Uh, first of all, what's going on here? Uh, cannabis uh, stocks have been soaring after hours um, after uh, Congress plans vote on federal legalization of marijuana next week. Um, the U.S. House will uh, vote next week on the MORE Act, Marijuana Opportunity Reinvestment and Expungement Act. If enacted, the bill would remove cannabis from the list of federally controlled substances. So uh, this is big news. Uh, we think this one has a, a good chance of passing. Uh, the last time the MORE Act was voted on in the House was in December 2020 when it passed in a 228 to 164 vote. Five Republicans voted in favor of it. Uh, Schumer's pushing for it. Uh, Nancy Mays, there's bipartisan interest. And what's interesting is that if it goes to a floor vote ahead of the 2022 midterms, uh, voters will get to see how their congressman, or if it goes to the and it goes to the Senate, see how they voted. There is widespread support for uh, legalization of marijuana across the U.S. Uh, already, it's uh, you know legalized for for recreational use in 38 states and legalized for medical use in 38 states. So uh, you, you know if it passes, it would then allow uh, the cannabis multi-state operators to be able to uplist from OTC to NASDAQ or NYSE. And let me explain to you what's going on here. Uh, SNDL spiking uh, closed up 23% at 74 cents. Uh, Tilray up 21% uh, bidding uh, over eight bucks in the after hours. You know, the stupidity never ceases to amaze me. Guys, these are Canadian companies. It doesn't matter what the U.S. Uh, Congress does. It's like beating your head against the wall. But because people can, you know, that don't trade OTC, the first thing they do is go to any cannabis name on the NYSE or NASDAQ, and they're buying a Canadian company. Wake up, people. It does. It, it, these are just short squeeze plays. They're going to come back down. These are day trades. Same thing with the on the OTC, Marijuana Company of America up 78%. Uh, MedMen uh, ran uh, 41%. Uh, uh, Medical Marijuana Inc. up 37%. These are not the best companies to own. You know, uh, these are not profitable names. But they get pumped every time uh, cannabis uh, is in the news. There's there's talk about uh, legalization. And yes. I'm not saying they're not going to run. They're going to run, but they're going to eventually come back down when investors wake up and realize, you know, what's really going on. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not trying to give you financial advice. But if you really want to just be a, if you believe in the sector, in my opinion, the best way is just to play the MSOS ETF. You can buy it on Robinhood, Webull. This owns, uh, they use a derivative uh, they own the, uh, it, it, they purchase it, uh, the OTC multi-state operators like Cureleaf, uh, True Leave. Uh, you know, these are the dominant players. Uh, you know, the best way to play it is if you can't buy OTC or you don't want to buy, you know, individual names, just buy the ETF, MSOS. Again, not financial advice, just trying to help you guys understand what's going on. This one has been badly beaten up. Um, it was over $50 last year. It's at 20 bucks right now. Uh, the sector has been in a bear market. Uh, you know, if it does legalize, the, the sector is off and running again. Um, and, uh, you know, quality names are in uh, MSOS. So again, not financial advice, just trying to help you guys uh, what's going on. But, you know, if you are a day trader, swing trader, SNDL, Tilray, uh, MCOA, MMN, NFF, and MJNA, Great day trades, great swing trades. If you're an investor looking to play it long term, MSOS. So just not financial advice, just trying to guide you guys uh, what's going on uh, and, and how best to play it. 
With that being said, I want to wish everyone a happy Friday. I'll be uh, doing my usual weekend recap. Uh, no uh, alerts on Friday. We'll be scanning all weekend, uh, looking for our next alert. So make sure you are signed up at signup.insiderfinancial.com uh, so you don't miss any of our alerts. Thank you, everyone, for watching, reading, subscribing. Uh, and have a happy uh, and good luck uh, trading on Friday. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.